What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future of the Game and happy Back to the Future Day. Today is the day in Back to the Future 2 where Marty and Doc goes to October 21st, 2015. So it's today. Happy Back to the Future Day. Let's start or let's continue the game, shall we? Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now I'm more concerned with Einstein. All right, uh, you got to rescue Einstein. What went wrong? Uh, what did? Wait, what's with you and Edna? Let's see. I think we're gonna go. You got to rescue Einstein. Can't you just go into the courthouse to get Einstein? If I still had my job as a clerk, sure. But lately, a lot of evidence has gone missing, so they've installed new locks. Now the place is sealed up tighter than my dad's wallet. Well, that's not good, man. What went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. All right, all right. Um... You know anything about Trixie Trotter? The songbird of the Sierras? The nightingale of the north? The floozy of the foothills? Okay, so I think that's a yes. Uh, I've never heard of her. Man, I've definitely never snuck into Tannen speakeasy to listen to her. You're not a good liar, Doc. You really are not. Why don't you go look for your car now? Leave Einie stuck on a ledge? <laughs> never! Dogs are much more important than any silly rocket car, especially one that doesn't work at all. Okay. Well, so I... I'll go off and see if I can get some help. Yeah, you maybe we can get. I'll stay mm -hmm. here and see if I can think of a way to get Einy off that ledge. Okay, maybe we can. Oh, Doc's right there. Hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? Yeah, all right. You know, I saw Parker. I or saw, I saw Arthur, Boom. not Parker. My grandpa, on his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost the nerve to betray Tannen. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. But where? Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Um. Good news, Doc. Parker's ready to arrest Tannen, and it looks like I didn't go stag to the prom. Wonderful. What about Miss Trotter? I'm still working on her. Mm, let's see. Where's the DeLorean? Let's see. You're in the park. Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never have the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Nice. Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. It doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. But during that famous scene when Colin Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower and that bolt of lightning struck, well... Let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, okay. Emmett's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. What can we do? Hmm. I've got it. Right, right. What, what is it? Just get my younger self distracted and I'll handle the rest. All right. That, that's okay. what we can do. I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. <sighs> Oh, sounds easier said than done, right? Any luck with Einstein? I'm still thinking about it. It's a perplexing spatial conundrum. Okay. Aggravated right. by Einstein's understandable skittishness. You say a lot of big words, man. Uh, take a break, find a rock, find a rocket. Uh, let's say take a break. Let's say take a break. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Yes, maybe uh, for Frankenstein. Thanks for Sonny. But once Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. And right now, that purpose is rescuing your dog. Uh. 
See Einstein or uh, Frankenstein? Have you seen that Frankenstein movie yet? I hear it's pretty inspirational. Not yet. I've been so busy with my rocket car that I haven't found the time. But I'm planning on going tonight. At least I will once I get Einstein down. Okay, well... Okay, I didn't know what to do, so we had to do the tips. I tried not to do the tips that much in this game, so I can try to figure it out myself, but I didn't know what to do. So we're going to use Edna's uh, instruments or something? I don't know. Let's see. Edna? What? Um... Let's see. Parker's reform. Tell me about Trixie. About you and dog. We got against dogs anyway. They're smelly, okay. rude, oh. completely unable okay. to take care of themselves. You don't have to go there. And frankly, they're not very bright. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Whoa, harsh. It's a harsh world, Mr. Crockett. That I can agree with. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh. What is it? Um. Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Yep. Look over there. Look. Oh, for goodness sake. Haha, <laughs> diversion. Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run. Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present <laughs> danger to public safety. You know what represents a clear and present danger Dude, to public Doc's safety? Dude, Slim Shady, a man. Voice. There's He's no a ninja. need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. Flying cars of all the ridiculous oh, juveniles in the world. But just imagine a world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. Well, I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. And he's I mean, down. How'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now. How to get that rocket oh, car back on, down. Oh, come on, man. Just forget about it and just go to the movies. All right, now that we got Aini back, let's talk. Hey, hey, take it easy. Take it easy. We're going to use these and sniff them out, boy. Hey, boy. Take away for this. But not in the way you think. All right, there we go. I gotta love that nose. Dude, that nose is like match. Oh, he's watching a movie. What do you know? Seeing Frankenstein? Okay. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. True. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk to the Majestic, away from prying eyes. But you had to talk to Trixie. Yeah, Einstein. You done good. Now what? Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Uh, send Artie to Trixie. Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, yep. it's time I'll for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, yep. I know yeah. what she's done. Clever. Very clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, My then God. so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. Then how are we gonna do this? I don't know how you talked me into this. Oh, wow, well, we're pretty Just good. Stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary. <gasps> oh. Sagan. Where's Kid? Oh crap. That escalated real don't quick. Worry. That escalated real quick. Ar Arthur, stay here. Is Trixie on her way? Um, How much longer? Take it easy. I didn't even move yet. Okay, here we go. Doc, you better book it back to his hotel or something, because uh, things might get a little bit messy. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Matches. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
All right, What's Chicks. it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Talking to Arthur, that's the... <laughs> that was the whole point, you know? Nope. Nope. There we go. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Uh, Arthur's waiting outside. Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? Yeah. The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Have to... Have a for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Oh, part of the plan. Oh, crap. Hey, you. Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Who? Hey, I, Sorry, I pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? Oh, we got the moves. I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for tonight. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Why is everyone yeah, interrupting you. us? You. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Ah! What was that? What was that? What was that noise? Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? Oh no, that can't be good. Oh no, please. Arthur, don't say you're dead, man. Please make that like sounds of bottles breaking or something, man. Arthur? Oh no. No! Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? Oh, God. I come out into the alley, oh, no. and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena-answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because uh... he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees, crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Well, that didn't go as planned. I didn't think that was happening. Okay. So that's a bloody nose. Pretty gross. Uh oh, matches. What are you doing? Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Oh. Are you crazy? My. Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Doc has a lot of free time. Dude, where are all these hidden areas? What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Like, that is pretty sick. Do you see that? The wall just opened like Batman here? Like, come on. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Um... I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was... Uh, awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. No. It's not about that. Turn on... Okay, so Turn Kid spared Artie's life, but that doesn't make him a saint. Believe me, no one knows that better than me. But if Kid can let Artie off the hook, I guess I can let him off the hook. Know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? He's okay. Oh, yeah, he, he's okay. Are you sure? Believe me, if he wasn't okay, I'd be the first to know. Get it? Because he'll disappear. Okay. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Okay, so apparently to talk to some guy named Zane about the wall of fame. Zane, there we go. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? 
Uh, let's see. What are you drawing? What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. True. Draw me. Think you could do a caricature of me? Sure. Let's see how long it takes him. Presto! Wow, that's quick. That really doesn't look like me. It, it I actually didn't really have does. much to work with. Uh, let's see. What happened in the alley? You know what happened to Trixie out there? She seems pretty freaked out. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about Trixie's emotional state. Kid doesn't pay me nearly enough to pour drinks and babysit his crazy girlfriends. Give me a drink. I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Peps, uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. That's the thing I want to talk to you guys about, so... Pepsi was going to release, or did re release, a Pepsi Perfect bottle, uh, just like the one in Back to Future 2, where Marty was in the, what is it, uh, the place where you get the drinks. I can't remember the name right now. Uh, but they released only 6,000, like 500 of them, right? And they were supposed to release a day, but somehow, accidentally, they released it yesterday. So one day earlier, not October 30, uh, 21st, but October 20th. So... Several hundreds of people bought the Pepsi Perfect before it was actually like officially released and I tried to go get one today and they were sold out everywhere. It sucks. I want to get one and now I see them on eBay for like hundreds and thousands of dollars. That is ridiculous. Okay, now let's continue with this. Okay. So about this uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. Mm. It's a, a, what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. Nah, not really. So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. Wrong guy. <laughs> Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Okay, so now we gotta take a picture of George. And draw. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. <laughs> hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Just, just, just because, you know. Voila! Nice job. Now go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. All right, we'll do. Let's see if we can put it in the empty spot here. Should we put our picture? <laughs> uh, nah, let's let's be let's be good and just put it right here. Sorry about this, Dad. Ooh. Okay. Now that uh, he's on the wall, maybe Trixie thinks he's dead? Question mark and turns on Tannen. Uh, Trixie? Yeah. Yeah. Um. About Arthur. <laughs> about Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? He's not okay. I think something bad might have happened to him. What? You mean Kid went back on his promise? Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's right. Oh, no. Oh, poor Artie. Poor sweet little Artie. I know. That rattlesnake kid. He can't get away with this. I agree. Are you gonna turn over the evidence you got against him? Am I ever? Just watch me. Wait a minute. What evidence do you have that kid bumped Artie off? Look at the wall um, of it's shame. It's just a hunch. Keep your hunches for the racetrack. It ain't nice to get a girl all worked up over unsubstantiated rumors. Look at who made the wall of fame. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the wall of fame. Why? What is it? Yep. Artie! <gasps> Can you I don't believe me believe now? It. We had a deal. Artie was supposed to be safe. 
I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. Mm -hmm. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of Kid's books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, Copper! Yes, you. Come on. Oh, he's back on the side of good. Uh oh, don't worry. I know the secret entrance. You just got turned that little lever thing. What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats! I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime. All right, everyone. Party's oh. over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy. You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! That's right. He's not that drunk. <laughs> Psst. Crockett. Yeah? What's up, Matches? Would the Valenti mob be willing to help, uh, defuse this little situation? Yes. Sure, no problem. I'll... Bring it up in the next uh, company meeting. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Crap. Yeah, yeah. Crap. He got that all from me saying Doc. Really? Really? Okay. Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. Nice. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Um. Let's see. Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. Well, you know what? I think that's a good way to end off this episode of Back to the Future, the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, give the video a like. I hope you guys are happy, uh, having a happy Back to the Future day. Let me know what you guys are doing today. Are you guys watching, re-watching the movies? I might go back and... Uh, Rewatch the movies again just because they're so good. Like, I love watching them. So, let me know what you guys are doing today. Even if you guys are not doing anything Back to the Future related, let me know what you guys are doing today, October 21st, 2015. And let me know if you guys got a Pepsi Perfect. Probably you guys don't. And if you guys did say that you guys did get one, why you always lying? I'm just kidding. Like the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. My name's Uncaged Games, and you just got caged. Ooh. Like that? Don't even blink. It's, a fake. it's not a real gun.